Uh, good morning. Welcome to uh, the MSA Latchways Wing Grip Stand at um, MRO Asia Pacific. Uh, I'm going to briefly run you through uh, some of the wing grip systems that we have on display here at the show. Um, I'll start with our wing grip um, AIO vacuum anchor system, uh, which is designed for a single user to access uh, either the wings, the fuselage, or the stabilizers of, of an aircraft. Um, the beauty of wing grip is that it runs purely on a compressed air supply. So if you're working inside of the hangar, um, every hangar will have a compressed air supply. So the setup we have here shows the hangar air supply coming into the bottom of the unit. Uh, and the unit provides a, a fall arrest and a restraint system to keep a single user safe while they're working on the aircraft. The setup time on the wing grip AIO is around 30 seconds either by just simply attaching your hangar air supply hose into the base of the unit here, or alternatively, if you're working remotely away from the hangar, we provide uh, an external air source by um, a refillable nitrogen bottle. The bottle simply clips on top of the unit and it gives you uh, a portable device to work flight side or line side. So how does the unit work? Quite simply, plug in your air supply and then you have the on off switch on the top of the unit here. The user would attach to the unit with their work positioning rope attached into the energy absorber on the unit here. So a single user would have 360 degree movement around a single anchor point and you have three visual indicators on the unit to tell you you have a safe system. The first indicator is your supply pressure gauge. So it tells me that I have sufficient pressure to create a, self -anchor, a safe anchor point. If I were to remove um, my, my vacuum hose here, so my source of air to the unit, not only will this flick to, to red to tell me that I've lost supply, but very importantly, inside an aircraft hangar which is very noisy, we have a, an audible alarm which will sound. And the horn stop button is on the back of the unit here. The second gauge on the system is the vacuum contained within the system. So the tanks or the lungs of the inner unit, if you like. Finally, and most importantly, is my anchor point gauge, the third gauge here. So, with my work positioning rope, which provide, we provide with the kit, I will be able to attach with the back of, my, back of my harness into here. And the adjustable rope allows me to create a, self, a safe working position based on my safe working area that I'm working. So if I'm uh, working up on a, a wing which is very wide, typically maybe a 777 or an A380 wing, potentially I may need to have my rope quite long to be able to reach the, the either leading edge or the trailing edge of the wing. On a smaller aircraft or as I traverse down the wing, I may need a shorter rope. So by simply pulling the rope through, it automatically locks off and holds into place. If you're looking to move around from your single anchor point, uh, you would need to do so using uh, an additional anchor. Obviously having one anchor will just give you 360 degrees of movement around a sole anchor point. If I need to move down the wing, I would need to do so using an additional anchor, which we supply with the kit, with a vacuum hose, which connects to the master unit. So again, I would connect in here with my second work positioning rope, and that will enable me to step stone around the wing or the fuselage of the aircraft, always having at least one anchor point or one point of contact with the aircraft. So the next system I'm going to show you is the wing grip multiple user lifeline system. Um, as opposed to the AIO, which is used in line maintenance, this system um, is for four users and it's predominantly used in either manufacturing by Airbus or Boeing during final assembly or um, by MROs in base and heavy maintenance. So you have a very similar system, which is powered by a vacuum module with gauge indicators here to tell you your supply pressure gauge and your vacuum gauge, linked to a series of vacuum hoses to the anchors as we move down the system. Um, the beauty of this piece of kit is that it allows four users um, to, to move up and down simultaneously up the wing without detaching from an anchor point when you reach it. So the shuttle actually passes over the top of the intermediate bracket, intermediate anchor, smoothly glides over the top. So what we would advise all of our customers to do is when an aircraft comes into the hangar, 
part of the hangar setup procedure, once the staging or once the docking is erected, install wind grip on both wings, um, just in case there's a task that needs to be done up on the wing during that maintenance um, task. The user simply puts on a harness, puts on his work positioning rope, connects to the system, and then can move safely from one end of the system to the other.